he's just like an amazing poet. He's so different from anybody you've ever heard because um, he uses the simple language um, that everybody can understand. Deadpan sense of humor, but he's a very, very uh, uh, brilliant, uh, uh, profound poet. You also? Yeah. Okay. One of my so-called friends uh, said that when he found out that I was uh, appointed poet laureate, he said it was it was comparable to uh, a chia pet winning the Preakness. <laughs> Good buddy. Being poet laureate is um, the main thing to say is that it's great that there is such an office in this country. At least it indicates the possibility of poetry being rather central to the culture, or something that the culture, even the government, does not want to entirely lose track of. Introduction to poetry. I ask them to take a poem and hold it up to the light like a color slide or press an ear against its hive. I say, drop a mouse into a poem and watch him probe his way out, or walk inside the poem's room and feel the walls for a light switch. I want them to water ski across the surface of a poem, waving at the author's name on the shore. But all they want to do is tie the poem to a chair with rope and torture a confession out of it. They begin beating it with a hose to find out what it really means. I think I got just kind of tired of running these talks by students with a few questions here and there. And I wanted the students to participate in the poems more uh, and I think that's because I became myself more and more of a poet and less and less of a professor. And I think that's a good direction for me to be going in now. I'm kind of a professor who kind of morphed uh, into a poet. In the old antagonism, it's supposed to be the teachers that are forcing this on the students. But I found in reality that often the students are, they kind of want the meaning because they want to get on with their lives and, okay, what does it mean? It's about uh, death. Okay, fine. Is it, is it over here? Can we go now? So or maybe I'm projecting. But I was casting myself as the enlightened teacher. Yes. Do you think they've been conditioned to do that, though? Yeah, I think they're conditioned by, 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 by it's a fault of society in general. <laughs> I was wondering, that's exactly who it is. <laughs> Darn society in general is fault again. <laughs> now, there has been uh, a kind of Johnny Appleseed uh, aspect to the laureateship. Mine is simply called Poetry 180. It's uh, a website available through the Library of Congress website. It's called Poetry 180, A Poem a Day for American High Schools. And the idea is to have a poem read every day at high schools as part of the public announcements. So that at the end of the announcements, after we find out when the volleyball team is practicing, they say, here's the poem for the day. And the idea is that you don't have to write about the poem or, and you won't be quizzed on it. You just have to listen to the poem. And it's trying to bring the simple dimension of listening back into poetry. These poems are bait. They're like 180 pieces of bait. Chum put out for high school small fry to hope they'll get hooked. Poetry 180 can be found on the Library of Congress website. Nine Horses is a new book of Billy Collins poems just published by Random House.